Hello, everyone. Uh, Tim here, and uh, I've got someone with me. Hi. It's Maggie. <laughs> and um, we just got out of uh, 47 meters down. Well, we didn't get out of it. We walked out of we it. We did. We walked out with, uh, it was probably an hour in. No, less than that. It had, because it wasn't even half over. Um, probably like 45 minutes into the hour and a half long movie. And, uh, we walked out for multiple reasons. Number one, uh, the movie's not very good. Um, I would much rather watch The Shallows or the classic Jaws. Would you agree, Maggie? Yes, I would agree. Yes. Um, but the real reason I think that we walked out, um... Is uh is what, Maggie? We were surrounded by idiots. So here's the thing. <laughs> this is this is gonna be a little uh, a little just rant here from the two of us about um about uh, annoying moviegoers and uh, you know we see a lot of movies. We do. Most of the movies that I review on this channel, uh, Maggie's along with me for the ride. It is rare, like like I think the most recent movie I reviewed that you didn't see with me was Rough Night. Yes. But maybe, like, that's it recently. Yeah. And so we see a lot of movies, and I'd say about at least half of the time. I'd say higher than that. I'd say, like, 66%, like a th two-thirds of the time. That we see movies, we're surrounded by morons yeah. who don't know how to behave in a movie theater. And it's not just, like, at, like, I used to think it was just, like, this particular movie theater that we went to, but now I'm, like, noticing it happening, like, everywhere, at every movie theater that we go to, and it just makes me want to die. And here's the thing. So, like, you might be wondering, Tim, Maggie, what are you talking about? What's so annoying? Am I annoying? What probably. did I do? You probably are. And here's the thing. So here's what it is. If you're talking during the previews, I don't care. They're the previews. Fuck, I, I, I don't care. I'm going to swear a lot during this. I can feel it already. I don't care. It's the previews. It's not the movie. I don't care. I don't really necessarily like watching previews, so I don't care if I miss something because I'm distracted by somebody talking. I do not care. But once the movie starts, shut, shut up. Shut up. Stop talking, and we will tell you to be quiet. We saw It Comes at Night last week. A movie I really liked, by the way. And there were these people <laughs> sitting behind us. Uh, during the previews, they were very loud and obnoxious. And, uh, you know, we were like, hum, hum, hum. once that last preview hit and the movie was just about to start and they were still yelling, Maggie turns around and what'd you say, Maggie? I said, can you please be quiet? Just and like that. And they said, yeah, sure, sorry. Yeah, okay. And then they actually were quiet, which was nice. And they, and so that's the thing. is like every now and then you'll say, hey, um, would you mind please being quiet? Um, you're really distracting from the movie. No problem. And some people will actually shut their mouths. In that instance, they did. Um, in the instance tonight, not so much. No. The people behind us, nah. Well, there were like five, like maybe ages 10 to 12 girls in 47 meters down at 9.15 on, at night on a Thursday. With their mother, or one of their mothers, who was on her phone phone the whole freaking time like i turned around three times to just like stare at them because hopefully they would like realize that i was staring at them yeah and exactly be quiet but literally she was looking at her phone the entire time and here's the thing so that's the next point is phones again we're talking previews i still have my phone out during the previews because if i see a trailer and i'm like oh that person looks really familiar or oh that's, you know, uh, Michael Keaton's going to be in this American Assassin movie. Did he do anything last year? And then I pull out my phone and I'm like, oh, shit, The Founder was a movie. Oh, yeah. So I get it. I totally understand. But once the movie starts, put your damn phone away. Well, and, like, at least, like, turn the brightness down. Don't nope. use your freaking flash. Like, literally, the movie that we just left, there were these four kids in the corner, and there was this one kid that was on his phone, and he kept taking, I'm assuming he was on Snapchat, but his flash kept going off, and I was like, I understand you're in the back row, and you think you're being sneaky, but the flash, like, it's bright, and we're in a dark theater. Like, I don't know what you think you're doing. And, so, like, they came in 20 minutes late yeah, also. Yeah. Don't do that. Yeah. So, okay. So... There's a lot of anger in the room or in the car because we're sitting in we're sitting in the car outside the movie theater. So 
as I said at the top, we see a lot of movies. And what I'm starting to realize is it's all the shit that this has to happen through. It's either the really bad movies or the ones I'm really excited for. So, with the exception of a few. So, what I've noticed is big Opening summer movie like uh superhero movies like Guardians of the Galaxy we actually had the chance to see that early yeah. so the second time when there were a couple of annoying people it didn't bother me as much I had already seen the movie but uh we saw Wonder Woman the there Thursday really night it was issues. it was packed with people who were there to see Wonder Woman they were pumped to see Wonder Woman they bought tickets for Wonder Woman ahead of time knowing they wanted to see it they weren't just some Joe Schmoes right. who were like Oh, Wonder Woman's playing. Let's go in there and be annoying. Yeah. They're ready. And I found that in those instances, like a Wonder Woman or hopefully like a Spider-Man Homecoming, that the people who are there at that 7 p.m. Yeah. Thursday night, they're there because they are want to be some of the first. The people in The Mummy, though, they were kind of annoying. But then you get movies like The Mummy, which are just like painfully average and people are mostly fine. Mostly fine. Mostly fine. Just at the end, we had a couple annoying people. I don't know. The people next to me were drinking, and they were like, Hey, do you remember that mummy movie where that thing happened? And I was like, you're in the middle of the movie. Can we just, like, wait till yeah. afterwards yeah. to have this conversation? Or, like, Alien, a movie I really like. Oh, no, that's what I'm thinking of. I am that thinking was, that of was Alien. Alien. That was Alien. That was Alien. Sorry, mommy. I'm thinking of Alien. Yeah, so a movie like Alien, which I was really excited for, and I really liked. Nope. We gotta be loud and stupid. Yep. That was it. A movie that sucks, 47 meters down, we gotta be loud and stupid. Well, even like when we saw Don't Breathe, there were pretty annoying people in there back in the day. And then like um, Lights Out, God, that was a terrible experience. Horror movies, yeah. They well, tend even, to be really bad. Let, let's bring up the classic of our inside joke. Well, well, okay, so that's... <laughs> I don't know if I want to go there. Basically what happened, no, 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 without getting into it too much, me and Maggie go to see this movie. I don't want to say what movie it is because then it'll... It's not, it, it wasn't even that. It was the fact that the movie, okay, A, it was rated R and there was a child in there. Yeah. And that child was maybe seven or eight. Yeah. And that movie was gory AF. Yes. As fuck for people who don't know. Well, I'm trying to be like kid friendly here. Okay. And then the other, and then they were like literally, like there were some action scenes i say that with air quotes because it was really just like people killing other people with like axes and stuff remember there's a seven-year-old watching this and they were just yell like straight up yelling at the screen for the protagonist to kill the other people get him get him that's what they were yelling at the screen it and was what, crazy and what do you do in it when in a situation like this because in that instance both Maggie and I were really excited for that movie. It ended up being bad, though. It ended up being a bad movie, but we were really excited going into it. And I think, honest to God, I think if we rewatched that movie today, we'd probably like it a little bit more because when we saw it, it was such a bad theater experience yeah. that it just like ruined the movie for us. I also, I do truly believe it was a bad movie, yeah. but I think we would have thought it was meh. At right. best, had we been the only people in the theater and right. actually been able to watch the movie. Which gets to my next point. You are not the only person in the theater when you're watching a movie. Unless you are, and then you are. But yes, but I am, I am so sick of people acting like they're in their living rooms. Yeah. I am so it, done. That's really what it is. Like, people are bored, and they just come out to the theater, and they're like, oh, yeah, I could just, like, whatever, sit on my phone. Like, no one will care, because they all think the same way I do. Well, we don't. Like, some of us actually, like, we paid, like, here, we're in Wisconsin, obviously. Like, we're paying less than those people out there on the coast, but yeah. we paid $10 to see this. You paid $10 to see this. Can we please, like have some respect here. Exactly. And that's the thing is both Maggie and I have worked in movie theaters. Um, so we know like we, it, we know these people and we can tell when they come in, it's like, you're not being sneaky. No, you're not being nice. And that's the thing. What you just hit on, you paid $10 anywhere between 10 and $15. Up to $20. Up I mean, if 20, you're on an IMAX or something. Up to $20 to see this movie. 
And you're going to sit there on your phone? Why are you even here? Yeah. Why are you even here? I shouldn't have to worry about coming to see a movie. I shouldn't have to go, oh, well, I don't think we can see 47 meters down at this time at this theater because I know that at that time at that theater, there will be stupid people there. And that's honestly what it's kind of come down to. And it's just, it's irritating. But kind of side note about like, because we have both worked at movie theaters, like I don't really blame the staff for not being able to control no. the annoying people. Like, they should do theater checks. But it is really hard to catch people doing bad things. Because once you and see And you them, have to catch them in order to ask them to leave. It's, yeah, and that's the hardest... That's one of the hardest things is, as so, like, like we said, we've worked there. It's very... Exactly what you said. It's so difficult because as soon as an usher like, walks really in there... I really want to help you and I really want to kick them out, but it is really hard to catch them. And I feel the same way, except I notice when an usher doesn't come and check a movie. No usher came in and checked on 47 meters down. No, of course not. No ushers came and checked uh, when we saw The Mummy. No. no ushers came and checked when we saw Alien. And that's the thing is, like... If, if somebody comes out to me at work and says, hey, you know, there's some really annoying people, like, they're talking a lot, I will go in there and I will stand there for ten minutes. Yeah. And if I hear anything, they're done. Right. It's the same with phones. If I see a cell phone, you're gone. I don't care. It's over. Yeah. And I think that's, like, I don't know what the fix is for this issue. I don't. I don't. Because I don't there think is. it's ever going to be fixed. But I think I think what needs to happen is people need to get a little bit more of, like, they need to check themselves at the door. Before yeah. they even get into the door, they need to say, is this a, a movie that I want to see? Am I going to, like, I'm going to pay money to see and, like, have a good time and watch the movie. Well, right. And I understand that movies are... They're supposed to be a recreational, like a social fun thing, fun thing. and uh, it so, can be, but it, you don't have to talk through the movie for it to be fun. And to be fair, me and Maggie have done our fair share of leaning over and whispering something about a movie right before Forty Seven Meters Down. We saw Cars Three review for that coming soon. But anyway, <laughs> we we saw Cars Three, and there were a couple times where I thought the movie was a little cheesy or a little stupid, and I leaned over and I said something to Maggie, but I didn't lean over and go. Hey, that that Lightning McQueen, he's uh he's a real race car right there. I didn't I didn't do that. And yeah. in 47 meters down, or all we could wasn't hear constant. was constant. Like like you the, could yeah. be whispering, but if it is constant, that is going to get annoying. Like I like yeah, I'll grant you a few times here or there, but mm-hmm. like oh, yeah. if it's going to be like those girls that were sitting behind us just now, it was a constant whisper. Yeah, and you don't want to hear right. in your ear the whole movie. And again, I I like I like it in like the shark movie where in 47 meters down when the shark comes in and like attacks the cage. If you have a couple people that actually like do the ah they yeah, scream. I I think that adds to the experience. Like when we saw Don't Breathe. Or like when we saw um Gifted. Or not, not gifted. The gift. get out or what? The, what do you? The one oh, the gift Bateman. with Jason. Like, Bateman. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Screamed and like there were other people in the theater that did that too, and it was that was like a fun. It thing. it adds to the experience when it's a communal fun experience, but when you just have these kids sitting there on their phones, and it's not just kids because when we no. saw Lights Out, it was a grown man, and when was, we saw yeah. that other movie that we're not naming it was like the two grown women and their seven-year-old daughter yeah so again i i think we're just doing this to vent because it needs to happen but at the same time for my tens of listeners if you're (laughs) if you're listening to this and you realize that oh shit maybe i'm kind of annoying in a movie i don't hate you just fix it and that's the thing we said it at the top Every now and then you get a person where you can turn around and be like, hey, could you please be quiet? I'm trying to enjoy the movie. And they will respect that. That's all we need. We need people like that because... Well, I don't know. I feel like I shouldn't have to 
take time out of my movie watching experience to tell them to shut up. No, you shouldn't. But if the worst, but if the next step is just to to do that and they actually shut up, I, I can live with that. I really can. I felt like I like today. In order for us to have continued watching that movie, I would have had to go to almost every group in the theater. Yeah. And separately, been like, so you've been on your phone this whole time. Can you please stop? Like I'm sitting four rows back, and I can clearly see it. Or I'm sitting two rows in front of you, and your flash—it's not like down low. Like it's very obvious. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just—it's very frustrating, and I think that. As movie fans, and as just, like, a community in general, it's like, why are we pissing each other off (laughs) in the movie? It's supposed to be a fun communal experience. And thank God that I finally blew a gasket like this in 47 meters down and not Thor Ragnarok or (laughs) or The Last Jedi or something because... Well, we'll probably see those early, though, so we don't have to worry about that. But anyway, guys... Thanks for listening to us rant. Annoying moviegoers, stop it. <laughs> stop. And then we'll be fine. Um, if you like this, <laughs> us ranting about it. Oh, wait, one more thing. This is also going to serve as my review for 47 Years <laughs> Down. I didn't like the movie. Oh, what we, we saw make... of it. What we saw of it. Um, yeah, seriously, it was just them, like, panting. Yeah, they and, did. They panted a and lot. And that was, like... That was it. Yeah, they did. And there they was, panted. like, barely... Like, I'm sure there were more sharks because we did leave, obviously, before it was over, but... A few sharks. There were only a few sharks. A couple sharks, yeah. There could, could have been more sharks. Could have yeah. been more sharks. They were just getting into the sharky parts when we left, but... Yep. There weren't enough sharks. Yeah. So, anyway, that's our review of uh, 47 Meters <laughs> Down. Um, guys, if you liked listening, to us, uh, uh, liked listening to us rant about annoying moviegoers, about 47 Meters Down, about... The movie industry, hit that like button. <laughs> hit subscribe so that you can get more Tim and Maggie content. And uh, let us know what you want us to rant about next. We're really good at ranting. Oh, yeah. I think we, we're like professional ranters. Uh, we could rant about food, music, more movies, specific movies about shitty and good movies. Uh, we can rant about a lot of stuff. We're really good at it. So uh, hit that subscribe button to get more. Awesome ranting. And until next time, guys, have a good one.